Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to tint the tip of your soldering iron and when to use flux. This is a soldering iron, you can get it around 300 rupees. You need to tin a new soldering iron before you start using it. Now, why this tinning is needed? When a metal comes in contact with the air, the oxygen in the air will react with the metal and form metal oxide. Metal oxide is a bad conductor of heat and the solder won't stick to it. So, we add a layer of solder on the tip to prevent oxidation. The soldering iron tip is made up of copper and plated with iron. Here you can see the copper is exposed. The copper is used because the copper is a good conductor of heat. But the copper is very easily corroded and eating away the tip. To prevent that, an iron coating is used for durability. I am using a solder with flux core for tinning the tip. If you are using normal solder, coat your iron tip with some flux. Then plug your iron. As the iron heats up, add solder on the tip of the iron. Then wipe it on a damp sponge or cloth. When the solder start to melt well, add the solder on the tip of the iron evenly. Coat the solder on the entire tip of the iron. Melt around 10 to 15 cm solder on the tip to make sure the solder is coated well. Then wipe off the excess solder and turn off the iron. Look at the tip now. It is coated with solder. You can see the rest of the tip is oxidized. The high temperature dramatically increases the rate of oxidation. You have to maintain the tip like this. For that, after every use, add some solder on the tip and turn off the iron. It will give a fresh layer of solder and the tip will last long. For tinning an old tip which is not maintained well, plug in the iron, add some flux on the tip of the iron and cleanse it up. Use a damp cloth to clean it. Repeat this a few times then add solder. If the solder won't stick, dip it in the flux and clean it again. The heat will activate flux and remove oxidation. You can use a metal surface like this. You can use this to spread the solder on the tip. You can see the solder is sticking to the tip. Don't use any abrasives on the tip. It will remove the iron plating and leave the copper exposed. Copper corrode fast and the tip won't last long. Wipe the tip, add some solder, then wipe the tip again. You can just shake the iron to remove the excess solder from the tip. Do this till we get a good shiny tip. Then turn off the iron. Now let's see when to use flux. Here I am tinning a wire. Just add some solder on the tip of the iron. Place the tip of the iron on the wire and add solder. You can see the solder is really not flowing into the wires. It is just accumulating into one point. There is an invisible oxide layer on that wire. That preventing the solder to come in direct contact with the wire and make a good bond. If I spread it with the iron, it will eventually bond. And it will take more time and more solder than required. And here you can clearly see. The solder is not really sticking into the wires. If we spread it around with the iron, it will stick eventually. I am going to add some flux on this wire and see what difference does it make. Add some solder on the iron. Place the iron on the wire and add solder. You can clearly see a difference. Solder is flowing into the wire as the flux melt away and the solder bonded with the wire all the way to the end. Let's take a closer look now. Clean and uniform finish. The solder really get in between those wires. When the flux heats up, it chemically reacts with the oxide layer and removes it. As a result, we can get nice and clean solder joints. Yes, it is possible to solder without flux. Flux help you to get nice and clean solder joints. Solder with flux core are available or you can use separate flux. There are soldering and tip cleaners are available. If you maintain your tip well, you won't be needing it. You need practice to get good at soldering. Thank you for watching my video guys. Stay safe.